Hi, welcome to this Featherby and Friends crochet along. Today we're going to be making this bluebird starting with his wings. All you need is your yarn, your four millimeter crochet hook. I use a scrap piece of yarn for a running stitch marker and a pair of scissors. The first step is going to be to make a magic loop. We're going to do that by holding the tail of our yarn in our hand, holding that down with our thumb, and wrapping around two fingers twice. If you've done a magic ring or a magic circle, you'll know that that is done by wrapping one time. This is wrapping twice and it just makes it a little bit more secure. So I'm going to hold on to that working yarn over there, slip my hook underneath, grab the working yarn, pull up the loop, yarn over and chain one. Now that is just a chain one. Make sure you don't count it as a single crochet. So now I have the loop off of my fingers and I'm going to work right into that loop making sure to go around all three of these strands. And to start this wing, I'm going to be doing six single crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then we're going to close off the loop this tail out of here and we're going to pull one strand at a time. Now one of these when you pull it will tighten the other. Now this one when I pull it it's not going anywhere so that's the wrong one. So I need to pull this one first and as you can see when I pull it it tightens the other one. And I pull that nice and tight and then I'm going to find my tail and when I pull that it will tighten that second loop. And that makes a really tight start and that's not going to come apart. That tail will need to be secured later, but for right now I'm going to go ahead and do my second round. I'm going to mark with my running stitch marker by just laying over the space between the first and the last single crochet. And I'm going to work right into that first single crochet. So I find it helps to count back just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is the right one to be working into. Because sometimes that chain pops up and confuses you. So you want to make sure you're going into the single crochet and not the chain. So for the second round, we're going to be increasing all the way around. So we're going to be working two single crochets in each of the six that we already made for a total of 12 for the second round. Now if you need to see the magic loop done again, I do have a video tutorial for just the magic loop that you can watch where I go a little bit slower. And there we go, we're all the way around. And for the wing, that is all the increasing we're going to do. So for the next three rounds, we're just going to single crochet around for a total of 12 single crochet, one for each stitch, making sure to flip that running stitch marker over at the beginning of each round. I'm going to pause the video here and you can go ahead and do three rounds of single crochet and then come on back for the next step.
Okay, so the next step for making the wing, now that we have done our first round with the magic loop with six single crochet, we increased up to 12 and we did three rounds of 12 single crochet. So now we're ready to decrease. I'm going to show you how to do the invisible decrease, which just makes a nice, neat appearance for anywhere that's going to be visible. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do four single crochet. One, two, three, four. And then in the next two stitches, we're going to do an invisible decrease. Now you could just do a regular single crochet two together if you prefer. I'm going to show you how to do that invisible decrease just in case. So we have our front and back loop of our stitch and we're going to go right into just the front loop of the first one. And then without yarning over anything, we're just going to kind of twist so we can get just the front loop of the next one as well. Now we yarn over, pull through, and complete our single crochet as usual. And that is an invisible decrease. And it just makes a little bit less um, of a mark than the regular single crochet two together. But it works exactly the same. So now we're going to do another four. So I just did one, two, three, four, and we're going to do another decrease. So whether you're doing the single crochet, crochet two together, if that's what you're more comfortable with, that works fine, or do an invisible decrease along with me. So we go under just the front loop of the first stitch, do a little twist under the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through both and complete your stitch. And that is one round. So now we should have 10 stitches because we started with 12 and we decreased twice. So now we should have 10 stitches for that round and we're going to do our next round. We're going to be doing three stitches this time. Three single crochets. One, two, and three and then a decrease. So do whichever decrease you are more comfortable with. If you're doing the invisible, go through those two front loops, yarn over, complete your stitch, and then we do three more. One, two, and three and finish the round with one more decrease. And finish that stitch. Okay, so now the wing is finished, except to close off that top. Because we're going to be attaching as we go, the last step is going to be to seal off that top with a row of single crochet. Now, my video that shows um, attaching limbs as you go does this as well. And so if you need a little bit more information about that, you can watch that video. Right now, we're going to do it um, together. And what we do is we pinch that top closed. And I like to give it a little spin to keep my working yarn out of my way, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Find that first stitch, and then this is the tricky part. Spinning a little bit to get the last stitch as well. So you want the first and the last stitch. And single crochet those guys together. Now. Make sure you've secured that tail. Um, I've already done that with mine. If you have not done that, it is kind of important. 
All right, and then go through the next two single crochets side by side, line them up, and we're pinching that top closed as we go. Try to make sure my camera stays in focus here for you. And then the last two are going to be side by side in that corner there. And it's going to look like that when you put your hook through. There's just going to be that one vertical bar there. And that's your last one, which completely seals the top. And you'll notice that there is no stuffing inside this wing. It's just flat. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of here. That got a little bit stuck. I think it's okay though. And I'm going to use my scissors to cut a nice long tail. I just like to have a long tail to make sure that I have enough space to weave it in and make sure everything's secure. And there you have it. So make two of these guys and then come on back for the instructions for the body.